What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. And in this question, we're asked to find the value of c and a for this function, c times a to the power of x. If this function passes through the points one and four and two and 32. So notice we have two unknowns, c and a. We gotta make two equations then. And we can use these points. So basically we know f of one has to equal four and then f of two has to equal 32. So if we plug in one for x here, we would have c a to the power of one equals four, which if we simplify is just c a is equal to four. And then over here, we would have c a squared equals 32. If we plug in two for x, that has to equal 32. And so notice, we got two equations now and two unknowns. So different ways we could solve this, we can maybe isolate for an A or C here, or we can maybe even isolate for this C and then plug it in here. What I'm actually gonna do is something a little different. What I notice is that we have this C here and a C here. So what I can do is I can actually take this and divide it by this. Right, so one more time, if this is equal to that, then if we, and this is equal to that, if we take 32 and divide it by four, then that's the same as taking this and dividing it by that. Right, so that's what I did here. And now notice the C's would cancel out. And now we have A squared over A to the power one, which is just A to the power one, and that's gonna equal eight. So A is equal to eight, and then what we can do is we could plug in this eight for a either here or here. I feel like this one's the easier one to do. So then we'll have c times eight equals four, c equals four over eight, which is one half. Right, so whichever way you do it, you could have also like isolated, right, for a or isolated for c and then took these expressions, maybe plugged it in here. Whichever way you do it, you should end up getting an A value of eight and a C value of um, one over two.